Welcome to the Southern Maine Healthcare BMAT Learning Video, the bedside mobility assessment tool for nurses. Before you begin, ensure your patient is able to follow directions. There are no bed rest orders, no bilateral non-weight bearing orders, and that your patient passes physiological safety screening, usually only in the ICU. There are four steps to the BMAT, sit and shake, stretch and point, stand, and walk. Sit and shake, assessment level one. Ensure your patient is able to follow directions. Ask your patient to come to the side of the bed using the handrail if needed, but do not offer physical assistance. Next, ask your patient to reach across midline to shake your hand, assessing for seated balance. If your patient is unable to complete the tasks of assessment level one, your patient is considered mobility level one. Consider using some of the safe patient handling equipment seen here to move and mobilize your patient. Assessment level two, stretch and point. Ask your patient to stretch each leg, pointing and flexing her foot. Then repeat with the other side. If your patient is unable to complete the tasks of assessment level two, your patient is considered mobility level two. Consider using some of the safe patient handling equipment seen here to move and mobilize your patient. Assessment level three, stand. Ask your patient to come to a standing position at the bedside. She may hold on to the handrail if needed. Have her stand for a count of five. If your patient is unable to complete the tasks of assessment level three, he or she is considered mobility level three. Consider using some of the safe patient handling devices seen here to move and mobilize your patient. Assessment level four, walk. At this point, if your patient uses a walker, cane, or crutches, obtain them at this time. Ask your patient to march in place, ensuring that each foot clears the floor. Then step forward and step back, repeating with each side. If your patient is unable to complete the tasks of assessment level four, or if your patient requires the use of a walker, cane, crutches, or other assistive device, your patient is considered mobility level three. If your patient passes the tasks of assessment level four, your patient is considered mobility level four. Patients who are considered mobility level four should not need assistance with mobility and transfers. However, it is always best to remind your patient to please call, don't fall. You will now see the complete BMAT assessment start to finish. Although it is not intended to be a standalone assessment, it is intended to be integrated into your daily nursing head to toe assessment. Assessment level one, sit and shake. Ask your patient to sit to the edge of bed. Do not offer assistance. Then ask your patient to reach across midline, shaking your hand. At this point, you assess for sitting balance. Assessment level two is stretch and point. Ask your patient to stretch each leg, pointing and flexing her foot. Then repeat with each side. Assessment level three is stand. Ask your patient to stand at the bedside. She may use the bed rail if needed, but don't offer any manual assistance. Count to five while your patient maintains standing. Assessment level four is walk. Ask your patient to march in place, ensuring each foot clears the floor. Next, ask your patient to step forward and step back, repeating with each side. Finally, spend some time on patient teach back. Let the patient know her level of mobility and whether assistive equipment will be needed for movement and transfers. Finally, let's review. Mobility level one is considered dependent. Mobility level two, moderate assistance. Mobility level three, minimal assistance. And mobility level four, independent. This concludes the BMAT learning video. But please remember, this is intended as guided critical thinking. Please always use your best clinical judgment when determining a patient's mobility level. 
consult with a physical or occupational therapist if you have any question about your patient's mobility level, or contact your unit's Safe Patient Handling and Mobility Committee representative. Remember that the use of Safe Patient Handling and Mobility Equipment provides a safe environment for both you and your patient.